Hey y'all, today we are covering cube roots and perfect cubes. Building on what you learned from square roots and square square roots and perfect squares, so we're going to extend it to cube roots and perfect cubes. Uh, so vocabulary that you need to get down, this time a perfect cube is the cube of an integer. So for example, x to the third power. If you're going to cube an integer, that means the third power. Uh, so 3 to the third power is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. So that is a perfect cube, meaning you take the cube of that integer. A cube root is one of three equal factors of a number. So yesterday or before, a square root is one of two equal factors. A cube root is one of three because there are three numbers. So it's one of three equal factors. And we denote it by a square root with a little three right here. That's how you know the difference between a square root and a cubed root. A square root doesn't have the three. A cubed root is gonna have a three. And then just so you know, a cubed root is the inverse of cubing a number. So if you do a number to the third power, the inverse of that is the cube root of a number. All right. So a little bit more information about cubes and cube roots. A perfect cube has three identical factors, like what we just talked about, and here's the other example. So for example, I eat eight, equals 2 times 2 times 2. 8 equals 2 times 2 times 2. So the cubed root of 8 is 2. And negative 8 is equal to negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Negative 8 has the three identical factors of negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. And then 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So here's the key. There is only one cube root of a number, only one. When we did square roots, there were two square roots, a positive and a negative. For cubed roots, there's only one cubed root. It's either positive or negative, but there's only one cube root. So the cube root of eight, see how I have the little three there? The cube root of eight is two, and the cube root of negative eight is negative two. So that's how you're gonna know the difference. The cube root of an eight is two, and the cube root of negative eight is negative two. So let's just try these right here. The cube root of 27. Well, we already did that one on the previous page. So the cube root of 27 is going to be a positive three. So number two says the cube root of a negative 27 is going to be a negative three. Positive 27, positive three. Negative 27, negative three. So what about the cubed root of negative one? What times what times what would give you one? And we know it's gonna be negative, and the answer is negative one. Now, just like with squares, here's a list of the common perfect cubes, only one through 10, because these numbers get quite large. So again, my recommendation that you make a chart of this in your notes, in your spiral, so you can always go back and refer to it. These numbers are gonna be used commonly throughout our problems. Starting with one cubed is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 cubed is 1,000, because this means 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. So these are the numbers that you'll be using most of the time. And I would say one through one, eight, 27, 64, 125 are gonna be the most common, but you could see all of these. And just remember that there's also the negative roots. So the negative of the cubed root of negative 343 would be, instead of a positive 7, it would be a negative 7. So take a moment to copy these down and then press play when you're ready to go on. All right, so some more cubed roots. How about in expressions? In expressions, when solving expressions involving cube roots, you would do the cube root. So the cube root of 27, we already decided was three. And three plus 15 is 18. Simple enough, do you agree? Number five, 20 minus the cube root of 125. So 20 minus the cube root of 125. If you don't remember, then look back at the chart that you just copied. 
But I know the cube root of 25 is 5. And 20 minus 5 is 15. So you try this one on your own. 7 divided by the cubed root of negative 1. 7 divided by the cube root of negative 1. Pause it and then press play when you're ready to move on. I know that the cubed root of negative 1 is negative 1, and 7 divided by negative 1 is negative 7. So a few more examples with cubed roots. Number 7 and number 8. The cubed root of negative 216 divided by 3. And number 8, the cubed root of negative 729 plus the cubed root of 1,000. So you work these, pause the video, and then when you're ready to hear my explanation, press play. So we're going to start with this. The cubed root of negative 216, I think it's 6. 6 times 6 is 36. 36 times 6 is 216. So this would be negative 6 over 3. And then when you divide negative 6 divided by 3, you get negative 2. That's the correct answer for number 7. And number 8, this right here, I believe, is negative 9. Correct me if I'm wrong. 512, 729 plus cube root of 1,000 is 10. And negative 9 plus 10 is a positive 1. So this is how you would use cubed roots in expressions to solve expression problems. Oh, and that's the end.